Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. If you're like me, and you've been using the Twitch desktop app to do your modding for various games like Minecraft, then um, you will be seeing that this is no longer going to be done on the Twitch desktop app for very much longer. It's now moving to CurseForge app. I, uh, I hear that CurseForge used to have their own standalone app previously that was really good, and they're moving back to that setup. It's now going to be managed by Overwolf, I don't really know much about them, but what we're going to do is show you how to install mod packs for Minecraft via the new CurseForge app. To get started, you're going to need to install it, so you can visit Overwolf, that'll bring you straight to the download page. Click Download for Windows, and save that file. I'm going to save it on my desktop for you, so it's right there. Double click that, install it, easy peasy, and that'll add Overwolf and the CurseForge app to your desktop. Open up the CurseForge app. You go to, uh, you open up on the home page, go to Minecraft. You're going to search for mod packs. I'm going to go for Pixelmon, just for the example of this video. And the Pixelmon mod pack, click install. Very, very nice and easy. Super, super simple, actually, to be honest. Um, once that's installed, that'll move to your mod packs for the individual games. So once that's installed, we'll click back to our mod packs, and you'll be able to launch that mod pack from here. In terms of uh, things, changes to make to that mod pack, you can change the version by right clicking here, which is going to be done in some cases. As an example, on my SevTech community server, we run 3.2.0 as it's the most up to date beta version, but currently the release is still 3.1.7. So anyone joining the SevTech server has to update manually to the 3.2.0. You can also uh, view the profile, and that will allow you to add more RAM. So as an example, you go to Profile Options, you remove the tick for the Use Memory Settings, and you can then manipulate your RAM to wherever you want it to be. I mention that because it's something that you're usually going to have to do when installing a new mod pack, as often the 4000 megabits def, uh, default is not good enough. Alrighty, so now you know how to install mod packs. Super, super simple. I just wanted to make sure I provided an updated guide to my via the Twitch desktop app version of this video, seeing as that's no longer an option to do. If you liked the video, if this helped you out, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this or some Let's Plays on the Minecraft stuff, other various games, then, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, hope you have an awesome guys. Awesome guys? Day? Awesome day, guys. Later.